Hi, welcome to DVCOM Technology. My name is Seishu and I am part of DVCOM support and training team. And today I am going to discuss about how to configure Draytech Vigor 2866EX router. And before I am going to start my lab, I just want to show it to you what's the agenda that I am going to do. So the first thing is that configuration of wireless. If you go through my previous video, I have explained to you how to do the basic configurations of Vigor 2866AX router. And in this lab, I'm going to show it to you how to configure the wireless. So as you know that uh, the AX router is going to come with uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz radios and how to configure it. This is what I'm going to show it to you. And after configuration then, I'm going to connect uh, my laptop directly with Wi-Fi. Then after that, I'll check the DHCP table and finally, we are going to do the test. Through Wi-Fi, I can able to access the internet or not. This is what I'm going to do it. Let's go and do it, guys. So before I'm going to do this, I just want to show you my lab topology, what I've done it. In case if you are seeing my video at first time, so I just want to give you the brief. So previously, what I've done, guys, the WAN 2 port, I have directly connecting to internet. Okay, guys. So from my service provider, I have got the IP address. 192.168.254.x some IP addresses I got get okay and which is last 24 mask and from my service provider the IP address is 254.1 that's the IP address of my service provider router now my PC here I have connected on P5 directly I have connected my PC here and I have configured this port number 1 to port number 5. These are belongs to a LAN. And I configured the IP address is 192.168.10.0 slash 24 network. And the IP address which I given 192.168.10.1. That's the IP address I have configured. And here I have enabled the DHCP from 10.21 to 10.254. So this is my pool and my reserved IP addresses. So reserved means these are the IP addresses which is excluded from the DHCP. Reserved DHCP which is starting with 10.1 to 10.20. So this is the range that I am going to exclude from the DHCP pool. So if anybody asks the IP address, they are going to get the IP address from 21, 22, 23 like that till it will go to 254. All right, guys. So this is what previously I have done it. In case if you have any doubt, you just go through the, my previous video, then you will get the complete idea. So this video, I'm going to focus mainly how to configure the wireless. Let's go and have a look. So first thing is that I'm going to open my browser. So let's click on here. Let's go and access the Dretek router which is 192.168.10.1. The default username is admin. The default password is admin. Click login. Say okay. Now, I told you guys one of the very important thing. Always, while I'm going to do the configuration, I always make it off. Okay. So, first thing is that before you are going to configure the wireless, you can go to the wireless LAN 2.4 GHz and click on the general setup. You can see here by default 2.4 GHz is enabled. So maybe you have some requirement like you don't want to enable that. Maybe some different reasons. Maybe you keep some different access points and you don't want Traytech has to be act as a wireless access point. That time you can disable it simply. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here, if you see here, the mode of operation and it's going to support B, Z, N and AX. It's a backward compatibility guys. And the channel, it's selected as a six. If you want, you can make it as a auto. It's going to select automatically any one channel. And by default, you can able to configure up to four SSIDs guys. You can see here, only one is active at the moment, which is this. And you can see here, there is a remaining four, three SSIDs. If you want, you can activate. And some people, they may ask you a question. For example, I configured this SSID and I want to tag to the different VLAN 
can i able to do it obviously you can able to do it guys there is no issue for it so in case if you want to do that you can do it so you can just enable that then after that you can tag the vlan i'll show it to you in my next videos i'm going to show it to you guys there is nothing to worry about it so that's why you can see here if you want to apply any profile you can able to apply it as well so especially for the in case if you have a home in kids and all you can create the schedule for them so that the internet is allowed only evening from 6 to 9 pm the internet is allowed after 9.1 means 9.1 to till morning 6 am the internet is not allowed you can do that you can create these kind of profiles guys there is no problem for it yeah in case if you want to hide the SSID, you can just put a tick mark. In case if you want to isolate the member, you can put a tick mark. In case if you want to isolate from VPN, you can do that. So the choice is yours, guys. So whoever connected for this network, you can isolate them from VPN and you can isolate intercommunications. And if you want to hide the SSID, you can do that as well. So now my concern is that I just go here and I want to configure DVCOM. Okay, guys. 2.4 okay that's my SSID say okay now you can see here yes it's done then after that go to the security then you can see here it's asking you the passwords right guys SSID 1 2 3 and 4 right now I'm working on SSID 1 and you can see here there is a multiple mechanisms that it's going to support guys so the choice is yours which one you want to configure it you can go for it but I'm going to select the default one. Then I'm going to select, uh, specify the password, capital P at the rate SSW0RD123. Okay, guys, this is what I like to give. Say, okay. I don't want to save this. Yes, this is done. So now you can see here, this is the SSID which I configured it. And this is the security that I mentioned here. Okay, guys. Then after that, I want to configure 5 gigahertz. Just go here, click on the general setup. Then after that, you can specify the SSID name. So I'm going to say dvcom iPhone 5 gigahertz. Then after that, click OK. Done. Then after that, click on security. Then specify the password, guys. So I want to specify same. Capital P at the rate SSW0 or D123. Then click on OK. I don't want to save this. There you go. So now you can go to the general setup. You can configure this and you can specify the security. And also you can, if you want to see that, just click on that. You can able to see it. And similarly what I did, I did the same thing for 2.4 as well. And the security as well. Okay, guys, if you want to do the more fine tuning and all, you can able to do it. So that, you know, those things we will discuss about in case if you want to do a channel width, if you want to change it, or if you want the performance wise, you need, if you want to increase the TX power or RX power, you can able to do it from here, guys. So these are the things most of the time, if you are aware of it, then only you can proceed for it. Otherwise, it's always recommends that don't play any changes here. Okay, and also, uh, in case if you want to do a Mac binding and all, you can able to do it as well. Okay, directly you can come and do it as well. So this is what exactly how you are going to configure it. So now I just want to show it to you one more thing, guys. I want to show it to you the DHCP table. Go to the diagnostics, click on the DHCP table. And right now my PC, which is directly connected here, that's why it got the IP address as 192.168.10.21. And this is the name of my PC. So this is, you can call it as a host ID. So now my concern is that I just want to go and connect my mobile phone. Let's go and connect it, guys. So I am just have my mobile phone. So I just want to select the wireless. All right. So it's showing to me. Let's just wait now. All right. So I'm going to disable it my Wi-Fi so I'm going to connect it back again yes yes so because I'm sorry guys you guys are not able to see it I, I do understand that 
okay i believe i want to show it to you here so that you guys can get some idea so that since my screen is getting recording yeah i can see that 2.4 and 5 gig edge okay let's click on here so just go here yeah it's actually recording so actually i have disabled my wi-fi all right so now go to ncpa.cpl and you can see here wi-fi is disabled just double click on it then after that you can just double click here just say refresh guys yeah see here then it came and you can see here dvcom 2.4 dvcom 5 gig edge so click connect say connect then it will prompt you for the password then after that you can enter the password capital p at the rate sswrd123 and you can see here then say next say no now i just want to do same thing in my mobile phone as well so that you guys can see it because my agenda is that i just want to show it to you guys yeah what i am trying to do everybody has to see it so i am going to configure it from here yes i am entering my password let's click on join yes i just connected with my mobile phone thanks to the dretech <laughs> yeah so now let's go here say okay no problem just refresh this you can see guys how quick it is 192.168.10.22 which i got it for my same laptop and 10.23 and this is my mac address of my mobile phone okay i have connected with my mobile phone okay now let's go and check whether i can able to get the internet access or not so i just want to see it so how can i check so i just want to go here and type dvcom yes you can able to hear the sound as well okay there is a dretech champion ch ch channel charm that we are going to conducting it see guys there is a nice sound so all right guys there is a dretech channel charm that we are going to conducting very soon and your respective account managers they are going to announce it on which date they are going to conduct so that's what if you type there then youtube the dvcom technology you can able to see it for the latest updates thanks to the dretech guys this is what how you are going to configure your wireless lan so so far i just want to disable this one also so that you know let's go and disable here so that everybody can see it so i'm going to disable my lan network disable it now i have disabled it guys so i'm getting the internet from my wifi let's go and do it so first thing www.gul.com thank you www.dretech.com thank you you guys can see here how quick and fast guys that's what i want to show it to you yeah i really love the dretech products guys because it's very reliable and it was perfectly fine without any issues so now i am trying to access my dretech router as well admin and admin login so in case if i want to check the speed my internet speed let's go and check it uh, speed test.net let's go here this is one of the beautiful site guys from here you can able to get it please don't copy my public ip guys yeah all right all right <laughs> okay super super i know that i know that yeah mine is almost 250 mbps guys yeah see guys i am not saying i am not lying guys it's very genuine that i am getting yeah very very genuine guys yeah i am getting almost 210 mbps that i am getting the download and let's go check it how much is the upload speed that i am getting here super so thanks to the data guys this is what exactly how i am getting so this is what how you can configure it so these are the the first two videos i have prepared for the basics so in case if you are uh, new to the dretech and if you don't know how to configure the dretech 
you just follow these videos then you can able to get some idea so still if you are finding some challenges or if you have any related to the sales okay it's always recommends that you can send us an email sales at datawise.com in case if you need any support you can send us an email support at datawise.com thank you for watching this video i hope this has been informative and i would like to thank you for viewing